Hi everyone, it's me again, Julian, with Bible Life. Um, today our title of this is going to be that he rose from the dead, okay? And the prayer is going to be that we can be as close to Jesus. And the disciples were so close to Jesus that we can be like that, that we can have a relationship with Jesus like that, and and even have that relationship with our families. I would love that. I don't have that relationship, but one day maybe. But um, we want to pray that we can have the relationships for everybody in the world that can have those relationships with Jesus and all of our families and all of our friends. That's a big order, though, because <laughs> people have free will. So we got to remember that. All right. So, okay, let's go ahead and pray. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for another day. Please be with us to teach us how to have that communion, that, that closeness, that bond that you had with your disciples, that we may have it with people out there, and we may be able to make connections and just show them love and grow your name, if it's your will and your way. Your name is already above all, all other names, but I, I think you know what I'm talking about. I don't even hardly know what I'm talking about at this point. <laughs> in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Please give me the wisdom in my brain, your love in my heart, and your words on my tongue. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. That was going to be coming very close to being a blooper. <laughs> Start over blooper. But we're going to roll with it. Um... So the next part's going to be, if you want to follow along, the question is, what does Peter say they did when, after, with Jesus after he rose from the dead? What did Peter say that they did with Jesus after he rose from the dead? Okay, so we're going to go to Acts 10, 34 and 31. All right, so if you want to read along. Okay. And Peter opened his mouth and said, Most certainly and thoughtfully, I now perceive and understand that God shows no partiality and is in no respecter of persons. And then we go to 41. Not by all people, but us who were the chosen beforehand, by God as witnesses who ate and drank with him after he had rose again from the dead. All right, so we'll put this one to the side and we'll use the little verse for today, which is out of Matthew 6, 6. So if you want to follow along there, that'd be great. <coughs> okay, let's give my little, while you're looking it up, I'm going to give my thing a little squeeze because it's a little hard breathing today. It might be humidity it might be up. Let's see if I should put it back on. All right, I think I'm okay. So let's go with it. When you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what you have done in secret will reward you. Okay. And that's out of Matthew 6, 6. Okay. So we'll do a little closing prayer. All right. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for what a wonderful, wonderful day at church. We were, thank you for the Holy Spirit. We were just a rock and we were just going to town. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Something feels like it's hitting my face. Okay. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye for now.